The National Field Trials for Genetically Modified Maize had reignited interest in the bid by government and private companies to use science to produce more food cheaply. The situation has been made more urgent as the population continues to grow and worsening climatic conditions. We really have to embrace, embrace what is new as a way of overcoming new challenges. Now we have the fall armyworm, we have maize lethal necrosis, we have... So there are more challenges. I mean, climate change, heat stress, drought tolerance, those are emerging challenges. And emerging challenges must have new solutions. With that, crop scientists in Kenya have stepped up confined field trials to evaluate the performance of the genetically modified maize that has been designed to tolerate pests and moderate drought. The essence of having these materials planted in the field is that we will be able to know what differences there are in terms of uh, their efficiency in resisting the stem borers. Today, these scientists are harvesting BT maize that had been under confined trials here in Kalro Kiboko, confined fields, and says its performance had been outstanding. What we are doing here is really harvesting one trial, which is maize trial or maize testing, which is uh, with the transgenic maize that is, uh, controls both insect pests and also uh, drought tolerance. Harvesting is done systematically to ensure that data needed to be collected is not interfered with or mixed up. When we compare these materials with those that have, uh, are commercially available in the field with the farmers and with some of the local seed companies in Kenya, is that the, the story is, uh, is black and white. The differences between those materials at harvest now it's, 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 uh, it's, as, it's as good as day and night. Conducted under a public-private partnership, Water Efficient Maze for Africa, WEMA, the trial used conventional breeding, marker-assisted breeding, and biotechnology to mitigate the risk of drought, stabilize yields, and encourage small-scale farmers to adopt best management practices. So over here, this is one of the, this is one of the local checks, the maze that is found uh, commercially in some of the in the market currently some if we, you can see that the susceptibility levels based on the attack by the borers predisposes not only predisposes the material the maize materials to rots you can see ear rots over there and some of this is this is not food now these are rots of maize but the kind of Ears that survive, you find that they have some ro also some rods on the, on the t at the tips, because the attack by some the stem borers generally predisposes these materials to. To, to this kind of uh, exposure, which is really a problem, a farmer at the end of the day, has lost it, because this this rotted mat ears, they can't be either eaten by they cannot be eaten by plant by. Even the animals or birds, they'll just be thrown away at the end of it. vis a -vis, when you compare that material with some of the, the genetically modified materials you can see, that all these ears, you see they are quite, they are very many. And yet, every plot had 42 plants. Every plot had 42 plants. But you can see that the number of ears here is, first of all, they are, many and secondly that the ears are so clean this maize is actually what we consider as food however growing and consumption of bt foods remain a controversial subject globally due to concerns over the possible negative health impacts on human beings some of the possible health impacts have been documented in the infema seralini paper which claim that genetically modified food causes cancer but these scientists have dismissed these claims as mere myths. We need to overcome the fear of GMOs. We need to come out of the myths that have been associated with the genetically modified organisms and we need to embrace the science. Scientists have done research. We have tested the efficacy of this gene. It is not like we are the guinea pigs that are being tested to eat it. This is a product that has been eaten the world over for the last 20-something years. 
currently grown under confined fields. This research is meant to evaluate the performance of Bt maize in drought conditions and its tolerance to pests such as the stem borer and the fall armyworm. Our joy is that the, although the target was the stem borer, the trans gene that we are put here, which is called the Bt uh, gene, was able to control the, st the, the foramium as well. So we are seeing, although it is not 100% control, but we are seeing right at the end of the tunnel that this technology, in addition to targeting the traditional stem borer, can also be able to control uh, the new pest, which is foramium. These scientists insist that this maize is safe and its successful trial and harvesting is a milestone with its production per acre higher than the usual maize. According to Dr. Stephen Mugo, releasing this crop to farmers is the only sure way that the government will have addressed the perennial maize deficit problem in Kenya. We are applying to the governments of the region, the government of South Africa, the government of Mozambique, the government of Uganda, the government of Kenya, and much later, and, and much later coming soon, Tanzania and Mozambique to allow the environmental release of this so that farmers can truly benefit. We have demonstrated that we are getting uh, differences of up to 40% much more yield of maize where we have the technology than where we do not have. The preliminary evidence revealed that Wema varieties could provide yields 24 to 35 percent higher under moderate drought compared to varieties available to farmers today. The harvesting of this maize that was under control field trials here in Kiboko Makueni County marks the end of field trials for this maize that was developed under modern biotechnology methods and after all data has been collected and recorded all remaining plant materials is now destroyed through burning, as you can see behind me. Philip Keitang, for the next frontier.